So, first, uh, thank you to Joachim to invite me to this uh, nice project. I, I like it very much and I think it, it match much with my background, uh, previous works. And thanks to you all to allow me to go inside of your private processes. <laughs> so it was like a wire there. Um, I think this project, uh, as it says on the description, the dialogue is very uh, important and I'm very interested, no? Because at the end, I think, um, I always think uh, of thought that music is a way to communicate, to, it's a pacific way of communication. No, I think uh, when we can dialogue with music, nothing bad can happen. You know, <laughs> in Cuba they say where there are musicians, there are no ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's, uh, this is very important, very nice. I think, and I think uh, talking about culture, I I try to make in this last time uh, like a, a personal exercise is try to try to make my own definitions on things, no? Because if you go to a book, you say, what is music? And then you have thousands of definitions, no? Uh, what is culture? And things like that, no? And I try to think, what is music for me? What, how do I perceive music? Or how, what is culture for me? And in this exercise, I have some definitions. I don't know if they are so clear. <laughs> but I, I will try to... to to say a few of them, because I, I, I was thinking on culture as like a transversal axis on which uh, oscillates all the manifestations inscribed in all areas generated and developed by human beings, uh, established specifically by a given population group and transmitted, learned, expanded and developed through generations. So for me, culture is something that is not static, although it happens in many places, but I think culture is something dynamic, that is all the time moving, uh, because we are alive, no? And then we have some things from our parents, from other generations, from the environments where we are living, but we are as well individuals, that we have our own perceptions, and, and when we mix these two things, I think many things happen, no? Um, what I try to, to do in this project is uh, to, to work more in the process, processes and I would like to read you something that I, I found, uh, it, it comes from a book, uh, it's a very nice book, it's called uh, Invisible Cities, from an Italian uh, writer, Italo Calvino, and in this book uh, Marco Polo uh, is uh, describing to Kublai Khan, that is the last Mongol uh, Khan, the, the, the king, and the first Chinese one, he's describing a lot of cities that, and sometimes they, they, they came, the city came from their minds, and, and there's one moment when Marco Polo is describing a, a, a bridge, and Marco Polo described a bridge stone by stone. But which is the stone that supports the bridge? Kublai Khan asked. The bridge is not supported by one stone or another, Marco answered, but by the line of the arc that they form. And Kublai Khan remained silent, reflecting, and then he adds, Why do you speak to me of the stones? It is only the arc that matters to me. And Polo answered, without the stones, there is no arc. And I think this is the process. We need to go deep in these stones to understand what is happening. So, another definition, <laughs> personal definition, because I was thinking, what is process? No? All these things. And I was thinking in process as a dynamic continuum dynamic, because it's a life, continuum, because it never stops, without beginning or end. It's multiform and unlimited. It's 
there are many forms and there is no limit. And the process embraces all the aspects and elements that are inside, which these elements and these aspects, by their own interrel interrelation, they are permanently transformed. So, this is what I think is process. And there are many kinds of processes. So I, I think, uh, or I felt that exploration is like a kind of a attitude. It's like an intentional attitude. So you have an intention to be an explorer uh, at some point, I think. And in exploration we have an attentive perception. We are aware of things with or without a precise purpose. So not always you must know where you're going, no? You can explore just walking in the street. Understood as a process, that we talk about processes, that stimulates our capacity for wonder. And I think this is very nice because we are wondering all the time about new things, about our environment, no? About sounds, about nature. And moves us to know what occurs in our environment and in ourselves in relation to this environment. So this is what I think uh, exploration, because the installation is called exploration in processes of composition. So for us, for Hassan and me, it was as well like a kind of exploration of your processes. And to share these processes with other people as well, no? And then I would like to close this uh, small talk uh, talking a little bit about uh, creativity and the act of to create things because and mainly in art, no? Because we 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 are art and this is another big question that came to my mind, no? Because what is art, no? We can we can just uh, take for granted what, that we know what is art, but who knows what is art, you know? We can have many different perspectives as well, no? But for me, what I can say is that for me, art is a medium of communication. For me, art is communication. Uh, to communicate certain aspects, that they can be concrete or they can be abstracts, of one own perception of reality and of oneself. So I think the artist is it's transmitting, is communicating his or her own way to perceive life at the end with his or her own language. No? And I think creativity is here uh, like a, the medium, no? very important. No? And I, I, I was uh, Telling to Mariana about this uh, author is called Marsha McLuhan. It's from the 60s. It's not that, but he says a lot of uh, interesting thing about uh, media and about how to understand media. No, that he says in the 60s, and now we are realizing how truth it is. No, but the, one of the main messages he says, the medium is a message. So. It's not the content of the message, it's, it's the, the medium. So for instance here, composition is a medium. You can compose different pieces and each of you will have different contents. But the medium is a composition, the process. So what is happening there? No? What lectures can we have through the whole concept of composition? Or Maybe it can have other names, no? no composing, but dial dialoguing, I don't know. And I took this very nice phrase uh, from a French poet called René Clark, and he says, each act is virgin, even the repeated ones. It's beautiful. And to finish, I would like to say about, I, I was looking to an uh, interview uh, with John Cage the other day, and it was nice because he says, when I was young, uh, uh, sometimes people ask me, what is the meaning of, of music for you? 
no? And then when I was young, I say there is no meaning. This only sounds, no? Uh, but now that I am old, I realized that there was always a meaning in the composition, and the meaning is the joy of life. Yeah. What a nice way. Yeah. To finish your introduction. <laughs> So here in Hanover, we can see the installation still until tomorrow. Am I right about the end of, until the twenty fifth? Saturday. 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 Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, will it also be visible at uh, two when when the trajectory tour takes off, so to say? Will it also be in, in Berlin and, and the other spots? We try. Okay. Very nice. We need a, a video resume of twenty minutes, no? That this will be placed in Berlin. In a screen there, I think so. No, in the in the hall. Mm -hmm. Any other questions from you um, about the installation or to Fernando? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Fernando, why you are so passionate passionate about sharing the process? Um, because you now someone could say, well, only the um, the, the what we have. At the end, is important. Why? Why it's uh, you think it's so important to, to share the, the you know the steps to the goal? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if other people will be interested in as me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's fascinating. It's just you know, it's just, I'm just wondering why you think. You know, it's so I I think because it's uh, like a way of uh, this mythify things. You know, mm -hmm. we are so used to have only final results no? mm -hmm. and i think we, if we go to media as well no everything is so nice you know if you go to facebook uh, whoa, everyone there is such a beautiful life you know <laughs> a lot of no all, all the results no of things mm -hmm. but how do you get to that no and i think uh, i think the result is as well very important no but uh, i think the process itself it's a, it's a way of, of uh, I think it's more, more interesting sometimes, no? At least, for instance, for me as a musician or as an artist, uh, when we were doing a lot of uh, online meetings with, uh, with the people of Iran, no? We, we made some, uh, like, uh, workshops or meetings during many months, and I found very interesting when a composer goes there and talks about how he do the piece or a lot of doubts that came mm -hmm. even from the title to the tools to many things you know and I, I found it very interesting no? because if you mm -hmm. go just to the final stage of the product it's nice but it's, it's not that real no? I think mm -hmm. yeah and you would think oh it's such such a no, nice way it was it's 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 so uh, it's not so complicated, you know, to, to have this result. But if you are diving into the process, you you, you could feel, you know, all the difficulties and uh, like feel what people, uh, or what composers or musicians or, or people in general would, you know, which steps they would take. But I think this is important for for suffering. education as well, mm -hmm. no? Because we we in, in education, for instance, in education in music. It's like that, no? I think we we uh, we don't have the 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 real things that are happening through the people, through the composers or the, through the musicians, no? It's just a matter of uh, you have to study if you want to go there, and you have if you want to be like that people, you have to study a lot and then mm -hmm. spend. But maybe it's not like that as well. There are many things happening inside the people, and I think to 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 put more on the ground things mm -hmm. is more. I think it's more real and more effective as well. No? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really interesting definitions, by the way, you told that we could. <laughs> it's really interesting. Maybe they change a few yeah, years sure, later. Sure. This is the process, right? Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Any more questions that you have or anything that you want to contribute? 
I don't see any. Thank you so much. Thank you.